Yeah, that's a, that's a question I I, I I had myself. I mean, uh, as part of my program, I have to improve the gender balance in in IPCC, and I would most welcome having more women in the IPCC leadership. And I hope, uh, if uh, even if uh, the the chair is is, is a man, uh, that uh, there will be women at, in the higher position in the in the. Uh, in the vice chair, among the vice chairs, among the co-chairs, and uh, I'm very hopeful that that will happen in the next round. And then that means that probably in the future, in the next cycle, AR7, uh, the possibility of, of having uh, women uh, candidates for, for the chairmanship will be there. Now, maybe it's not only a question of having uh, a, a woman uh, in 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 the in the leadership, or to have more women in in the leadership, it's also uh, the question of having a, a leadership of IPCC that is sensitive to those issues, and that would uh, also for women uh, make sure that there is a, a fully respectful atmosphere in the IPCC work, uh, so that nobody uh, would feel any uneasiness uh, at any point uh, in, in their work for IPCC, uh, whether it's because they are a woman, because they are from a developing country, because they are a younger researcher than uh, an IPCC author who has been there in three assessments already. I mean, uh, when I speak about a respectful atmosphere, it's on all counts and it includes uh, what is related to, uh, to women, uh, of course. Uh, but uh, indeed, there is no women. Uh, among the candidates uh, up to now.